hey guys hey hey welcome to the channel my name is Dani Sile and thank you for being here yes you guys uh, let's talk about how to defeat uh, the narcissist yes and the reason for this is because I I've been getting so much questions uh, in regards to this topic like people from 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 everywhere you know awaken people spiritual people and the non awaken or spiritual people you know it's like people are really finding themselves surrounded by narcissists late, lately <laughs> it's so funny it's it's like they are everywhere and people are asking but how do you deal with these people and and, and whenever you say no just leave them like i oh, know i tried talking to this person i tried doing this like no don't even do that just just nothing them I know it's hard, as hard as it can be, because these people, they just, they don't play fair, you know, but you have to remove yourself from, from their playbook. It's a book, to them it's a game, and it will forever remain a game. They have nothing. Um, they have no life, no values, no standards, no morals, you know, absolutely nothing, Serge. Nothing. And they have nothing except for the game. That's all they have. They have this game, this playbook, that's this game. They are playing a game. It's a game to them. It's a, it's a video game. And that's all they have. No no real, actual, genuine relationships, friendships, nothing. And if you have ever dealt with a narcissist, you 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 will realize that these people don't even have um real friends you know they don't have friends they may have acquaintances and know people and all that you know they they may have like a lot of contact and, and all that but that's that's just how far it goes you know that's how far it can get like having contacts and being able to say hey look do you know this 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 that's it acquaintances nothing else nothing more they don't have stable relationships or friendships they just don't because they see people as supply and they are playing a game they are playing the movie the game <laughs> whatever they play it's a playbook so the only way because they are playing a game so you cannot come with with being genuine and being serious to someone who's literally just playing playing a game like they don't even take you seriously <laughs> you know so you can not give them your genuine heart or values or standards or whatever your genuine opinion or perception you can't give them that they are playing a game it's a game to it will forever remain a game a cruel one very bitter you know but it's it's sad though even for them it's really sad but how to defeat a narcissist is to literally walk away so gray rock them if you don't know anything about gray rock i just google it google what is gray rock how to gray rock a person gray rock whoever that person is gray rock it's literally not getting emotions in, involved it's learning to respond without reacting you know it's it's responding not reacting it's taking your own personal emotions from the situation it's really literally deleting yourself. You are deleting yourself from their playbook, from their presence. You delete yourself because they are not present. This person is not present. They are just playing a game. So they are not present. So why, why, why give them the luxury of really engaging with them genuinely? You shouldn't. That's no, it's not worth it. So how to defeat a narcissist, you guys, is to literally just walk away. It's to not say anything, to not engage, to not interact, to not do anything. Let them be. They may smear your name, even 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 if they smear your name, you guys. Say nothing. Walk away. Just leave. Exit the situation. Just leave. Leave them behind. Just leave. Remove yourself from the silly game. From their playbook, remove yourself, exit the situation, just leave them hanging with their their movie, you know, because you have, you play a certain character in in that movie without getting paid for it, <laughs> without ever knowing that you are actually playing a movie, you are in a movie, you are playing a character, you have a character in that playbook and that movie, so just release yourself 
it's not worth it you guys let them talk let them say whatever let them talk behind your back and spreading your rumors trying to confuse you trying to let them abuse your name abuse you smear your name let them do that there's nothing you can do you won't be able to reason with them they are unreasonable <laughs> so you can't you can't reason with them there's, they have no sense there's no sense there it's just a game and the more you you get triggered and you try to prove your point it's like you give them energy you give them supply to them negative and positive supply it's still supply what they are after is supply it doesn't matter if it's negative or it's positive it's supply supply it's supply to them so don't react don't give them anything just starve them starve the narcissist be silent, walk away, check yourself, check your emotions, you know, like just connect with yourself, just heal yourself, focus on you, focus on what's not okay within yourself, focus on your own wounds, focus on you. And another thing about the nurses is that they give us um, the opportunity to really, to level up, you know. To leave it all behind because um, the narcissist will force you to burn a bridge. Just burn the bridge. And why I'm saying this is when they smear your name, only those who don't know you, only the low vibrational people will take sides and stick and uh, believe the narcissist and stick to the, uh, with the narcissist and, and all that. Only the low vibrational person people there's only three four in fact there's only four types of people who will believe the narcissist one is um it's someone who gets something from the narcissist who benefits something who is uh dependent on the narcissist two is a negative person who likes to gossip and who likes rumors and you know all those people negative individuals who feeds of negative news and gossip and rumors and all that three is <laughs> it's it's actually um i don't know like someone who's really can really think you know someone who can think i don't know like someone who's I, I, not stupid no <laughs> But someone who really cannot think, someone who's dumb, someone who can use their own sense, they just cannot use the sense. Because in every situation, there's always two sides to a story. So if you choose to believe one side, then, then to me, it's like, you don't even make sense. You can't make sense because you don't know what happened between two people, you know? And uh, what happened between two people? Because there's always two sides to a story. That's the third person who really would believe the narcissist. And four, it's someone who actually hates you. Someone who already hates you. Those who hate you, they will thrive on any bad news about you. They will thrive on that. So those people, all four, they just don't matter. They shouldn't matter. So that's what the narcissist takes with when they exit your life. So it doesn't matter who believes the narcissist and what the narcissist is saying about you. It matters how you handle yourself and how you should handle yourself is to literally just walk away and know that you are better than the narcissist, basically, and know that you have something better ahead of you. The narcissist has no life, nothing. They have no, there's no chance of even trying to, of even, you know, living a better life or having or knowing and understanding what is happiness or genuine happiness or joy. They don't have genuine happiness. They only rely on the picture, the facade, that game, the this playbook. It's sad, really. So how to defeat a narcissist, you guys? If you want to hear more about this, just let me know. Just comment, let me know, email me, whatever, so we can take this further. However, how to defeat a narcissist, you guys, is to literally just walk away is to walk away it's to not engage when you feel triggered just find a close friend someone you really trust talk to that talk to that person you know unleash on them and when you're alone you can cry and all that just don't feed don't feed them don't feed the narcissist just don't don't give them any re reaction if you feel that they're trying to abuse, which they, they are very abusive, if you feel that they are being so super abusive, just exit the situation. Leave them behind. 
they do everything on purpose to get a reaction of you from you to get a reaction from you so they can feed off that reaction that's all there is to it they want to get a reaction it doesn't matter what they do they can be the meanest people in this world they can be mean as uh, but remember being mean it's got nothing to do with you except for them getting what they want to get which is supply so by you reacting you are feeding them you are giving them power so let's stop feeding the narcissist and stop giving them power just walk away leave let let these people go it's trash really it's nothing it's it's there's no value there there's nothing the only value there is to these people is the fact that they are helping you elevate uh, ascend helping you elevate um yeah like pushing you forward they are helping you ascend really they are elevating you that's the only good thing there is to it it's great though we should be thankful because at the end of the day we are ascending and we leaving the unclean spirit and the unhealthy things behind so you guys like i said if you want to hear more about this just let me know we can go deeper we can you know all that so yeah thank you guys for stepping by do subscribe like share and comment down below i would really appreciate it and that's it you guys i am out and peace